Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. All right, guys, it's February the 17th, first day of the Sea Pines Bluebird Project. This is my eighth year, and this is a beautiful little alligator. He's got his head up. And what's interesting is it's only a high of 63. I'm trying to figure out what kind of bird that is behind me. Um, I've seen yellow rump warblers, northern cardinals, Carolina chickadee. I actually saw, believe it or not, an eastern bluebird um, getting in the way of a Carolina chickadee on one of my nest boxes. So today I'm just bleaching them out for the season. It'll be a weekly project for six months. And yeah, so yellow rump warblers are flying everywhere. Oh, look, 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 look. Here we go. Here we go. That is a wood stork. Hold on. Woo! Oh my god. Hardly ever see them. Um, you know, they're prevalent over in Georgia, Harris Neck Wildlife Refuge. I haven't even gotten over there in like two years. That's a shame. That That's a beautiful area to go to. But again, it's about an hour and a half uh, drive. But anyway, so I just want to showcase this beautiful alligator. Oh, I meant to say is they don't eat any food October through May uh, because the digestive enzymes, uh, I don't know if they dry up or, or disappear. I have no idea. But... I learned that from Edisto Island Serpentarium. Pretty interesting. Yes, yeah, so no food is needed. And alligators can actually survive on 90 pounds of food a year. That's it. It's fascinating. Bye, Mr. Gator. All right, guys. Signing off live. In the, oh, and by the way, in the background, I'll be bleaching. This is box E2 for the Sea Pines Bluebird Project. It's Karen Martz. Have a great day.